Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you all are well. So today I'm gonna be making my way to Wimbledon Village. So the reason why I'm going to Wimbledon Village is just because I just kind of woke up and I just like felt like it today. I actually used to drive through Wimbledon Village every day to get to work and I'd never actually stopped by and like checked it out. I just always like drove through it. So I just thought today, why not go visit, see what the charity shops are like there, see what it's like there. I'll do some filming and show you guys what the high street is like. It's just a bit annoying because when I used to work around there, I actually had a business car permit for the whole Merton Borough. So I could literally just park like anywhere and just do my thing, you know, but that was a few years ago now. So I'm gonna have to find parking. And to be honest, I have no clue where I'm gonna park. I'm just gonna kind of wing it and <laughs> let you guys know. So if you guys have a plan on driving to Wimbledon Village, I'll let you guys know where I end up parking. And because it's quite a posh area, it'll be interesting to see what the charity shops are like there. So yeah, I'll show you guys what it's like around there. And if I get some stuff, I'll do a little haul at the end of my video and show you guys what I got. Stay tuned and I'm going to make my way now. Beep beep. <laughs> okay, so I've just got parked and it wasn't actually that bad at all. I've parked by Wimbledon Common. So I've just got parked now. There's a parking machine over there or you can pay by phone, but I'm just gonna walk to the machine over there, pay whatever, and then I'm gonna walk. So I'm just gonna take a nice little stroll through the Common to Wimbledon Village. around here it's just nice walking on this common it's just like chill and there's loads of little dogs so if you guys live close by and have like a dog I'd highly suggest coming around here ah oh, just positive vibes really I'm just feeling positive <laughs> I've got to say, the houses around here look so beautiful, like, I'd love to live on the common, you know? Just like, I feel like anyone that does, like, you guys live like a whole different life and it's just, I can't even imagine, but the houses here are just so nice. <laughs> expensive so I didn't actually get anything I like got their permission and filmed some of the stuff in there to show you guys what sort of stuff was in there and another good thing is dogs are allowed in there as well so that's a little bonus there's a little dog ball outside and then like those dogs in there <laughs> and yeah it's just cute in it that you can take a dog into a charity shop so yeah that's the first one now let's find another charity shop to go to just walked by an estate agents and I had a little look at the prices of the houses here and like every house was like at least over a million pounds. <laughs> Bloody hell in it. Like one of them was even eight million. I was like ah! <laughs>
Shelter now. God, like, there's so many nice stuff in the charity shops here, but to be fair, I haven't got anything because everything is pretty expensive for me and I don't really think I'll get much profit. And also, I'm also still learning with designer stuff. Like, I don't really know much about it at the moment, so I'm still learning. I'm just waiting to go inside this one now, once someone leaves, and um, see what I find there. sort of jumper for me and now I'm just making my way to Oxfam so here we are parking so I've got to like go back to my car but there's a I think there's like two more charity shops that I've missed out I can't go into them but I'm just gonna show you guys real quick okay. so there's this one here and also this one yeah So there might be a few others as well that I've missed, but these are the ones on the high street that I've noticed. So there's two of them that I don't have time to go into. So if you guys ever come here and you've got a bit more time, yeah, there's a fair few charity shops around here. It's starting to rain a bit as well. Um, and then there's this antique shop here as well. But yeah, I'm just kind of speed walking right now because I just need to get to my car and it's on the other side of the common. So I just kind of need to chop chop really. <laughs> I just filmed those radiators because my dad is like obsessed with those radiators. He says they're like the posh radiators. So um, dad, that's for you. There's some posh radiators in Wimbledon Village. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back in the car now. It like started to rain a little bit on the way back. So my camera's just a little bit wet, but not too much, it should be fine. Altogether, I got three things and I'll show you guys what I got. But first, I'm just gonna talk about how it was. I just feel like Wimbledon Village is so nice and it's so posh and it's just such a nice place. I actually do wish that I like lived around here. And even like when I went into this boutique by shelter the guy there like I asked him if I could film a little bit and he was like yeah that's fine and he was like really friendly really helpful and the clothes in the charity shops there were really really nice I really liked a lot of the stuff that I was seeing but they were just a bit expensive for me to buy for myself or to buy to sell there was loads of like whistles hush um, J crew mint velvet I don't know. I don't know a lot a lot about designer stuff. I'm still like learning but I know like little bits and bobs because I'm not like a posh, I don't know, because I'm not that posh or like I don't really buy designer stuff because I've never really had the money to do it, you know? So you know what? I'm just going to show you guys what I got here in the car because I only got three things. So I'm just going to put the camera there. Right, so I bought this red and brown men's sort of jumper thing. I just thought it looked really nice and it's something that I would wear once it gets cold and you know it's kind of like an autumn colour as well. So this is for me. I paid £12.99. Um, I don't know if I said that this was in the men's section and it's really really soft. I don't know what make it is. It's called Bon Akello Collection? Bon Akello? if you guys know, but pff, I don't know. I just liked the jumper, so I got this for me. 
Another thing I got was these Doc Martens. So, I paid 30 quid for these. They're in pretty good condition. And the main reason why I got them is because it says made in England. And you know what? I watched a George Ross video saying that he buys Doc Martens. And he said, especially if they say made in England, they're worth more money because they're made in England. So I thought I'd get these. They're a size nine, so they're a bit small for Harry. But because they've kind of been worn, I'm gonna see if they fit Harry. And if they do, then I think he'll probably keep these. But if not, I'll whack them on eBay or Depop and just see how much I might get for them. If these were in my size, I would be keeping these because I've been looking for this sort of style of Doc Martens for myself. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I'm pretty pleased with these for 30 quid. Made in England, so just gonna see really. And then my last item is this and other stories dress. <laughs> you guys probably saw it when I was wandering around taking videos of all the clothes and stuff. So I thought this looked really nice. Really cute colours. The only downside is that it's a bit too big for me. It is a size UK 12, but it was 14 99 and it still had the original tags on, so it's never been worn. So I thought I'd get it. I'll try it on when I get home, and if it doesn't really fit me, then I'll put it on eBay and see how much I get for it there. I'm really happy with the stuff that I got, you know? And I feel like it's been a successful day, and yeah, so I'm just gonna go home, and I can't wait to show Harry the Doc Martens and see if they fit him. Um, and I think that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys for taking your time to watching my video and I hope this video inspires you to go out and do more charity shop hunting and buy some clothes secondhand because you don't always need brand new clothes. Just slowing down on fast fashion and just thrifting stuff and also the money goes to charity as well for these shops. So I just kind of hope I inspire you guys to do the same sometimes and I also hope this video gives you guys an idea of what it's like coming to Wimbledon village and doing some charity shop hunting because the clothes here are really really nice really good charity shops really good high street and also if you guys drive you've got parking here at the common as well and I think that's everything I've got to say so give me a like if you liked it and give me a subscribe if you want to see any more and I'll catch you guys later bye so and that's everything cash machine cash machine <laughs> car park machine machine so i'm just gonna walk to the machine over there 